Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of my Father. I lift you up this morning, Jesus. Lord, I give you glory. Lord, I give you praise, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you. It's another day in your presence, Lord. And I am grateful. Jesus, I am a la baba baba baba. the glory belongs to Sharabalina Keteshka. Rebebe lo dosa le kete raba le keto shalade raba ba. Thank you for denying, soaking your presence, oh God. Rebe kuzima le kete aya ya kula ba zeke kele dosa rebe le kete raba ba zole be le keshkate raba zebe le dosa raba ba kalu. All the glory belongs to you, God. To the land, to the land, yes, Lord. Oh, go, go, hallelujah. To the land, to the land, yes. Shaba Rebeku Salata. But I bless you for such an awesome presence. Oh, Jesus, thank you for such a beautiful atmosphere of your glory. Mm. To the land, to the land, yes, God. We will stop praising you. We will stop loving you. Yes. Oh, we bow before you, Jesus. We bow before you, our maker. Oh, my God. I bow my heart, I bow my all before you, the one and only true God. Good morning, precious daddy. Good morning, precious son. Good morning, precious Holy Spirit. I'm grateful for your presence, oh God. I'm grateful for all that you are doing on this altar. Thank you, Jesus, for day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, and day nine of 30 minutes soaking in your presence. Daddy, thank you. Thank you for bringing to pass every word that you have released on this altar, oh God. Thank you, Father, for victory, oh God. Thank you for drawing us closer to yourself, for the heart to seek after your after that which pleases you, oh God. Thank you for drawing men to yourself. Thank you for establishing your will in the nations, oh God. Because you said in your word in First Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, uh, that I will therefore that men everywhere pray. You will therefore that men everywhere pray. It's your desire that there are that men that altar prayer altars are raised everywhere praying for the people praying for families praying for missionaries praying for the nations praying for the body of christ i will dear for that man pray everywhere lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting father this is what you've called us to do you desire coming near with us. You desire a time of fellowship with your children. Lord Jesus, for God, we know that there's no better place we'd rather be than in your presence, oh God. And so, Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Lord, we adore you. What a beautiful God you are. What a beautiful God. Can you just begin to worship your Father this morning? It's nine days of soaking in his presence. Uh, thank you for joining me this morning. Begin to bless him. Just lift up your heart and bless him. 
worship and adore him for he is good and his mercy endures forever lord we won't stop praising you we won't stop loving you we won't stop praying we worship you we glorify you jesus what a mighty god we serve what a glorious god we serve what a faithful god we serve oh we bless you god we glorify you you are faithful you are faithful yes lord shalabaku rebeku selekete malo shebelekete oh begin to thank him pour your heart bless him bless him raka zekedo shabila koz reko makula kata rebeko bakulikete raba zebeledo shelebelekete for thou o lord are the shield for us you are our glory you are the lifter up of our head oh God oh Jesus we thank you father we bless your holy name we give you glory and honor thank you Jesus thank you father all glory belongs to you all glory belongs to you Jesus Rabadio Sharade Maleka Rabba Zelekete O Maleka Do Shabalakata open up your mouth and speak in the Holy Ghost Oh God, go. hallelujah, yes Lord, to the Lamb, yes Lord, to the Lamb, yes Father, Rebecca Selecate, thank you Jesus, thank you Most High God, you are faithful, I want you to begin to declare the faithfulness of God, begin to declare that God is faithful, God is faithful in spite of what I'm going through. God is faithful in spite of what I went through. God is faithful. Oh, begin ayala kopake ayayaya. Open up your mouth and begin to declare from your heart, uh, Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. Father, you are faithful. You are faithful to your word. Uh, you are too faithful to fail me. You are too. F- mm, I see. Yes, I, I, I. A song just dropped in my spirit. Kayaya, Jesus. And as the song is dropping in my spirit, as the scripture that's dropping in my spirit at the same time. Kaba shelekedo amakose leke kaya ya 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 rebesekete. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Ramose kali kalaba rebekusa rebeselekedosha malo kodeshka rebesetete. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. You are God. You never fail. You are faithful. You know, you see, the Lord started with telling me to declare that he's faithful. As I was declaring that God, you are faithful. God, you are faithful. Then he just, you know, this. he just dropped this song in my spirit, declaring that he is faithful. He will never change. And I believe that the Lord is bringing this this morning because someone on this altar is saying, Father, you promised. I'm holding on to your word. You are faithful. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. I trust you. If you brought, if you started this with me, you will bring me through. You are involved in this, and I trust you. God, somebody on this altar is saying, Father, I know you are faithful. Lord, I know you will never fail. If you have promised me, I know you will do it. It seems like you've been waiting forever. It seems like you've been trusting God for that very one thing. And it seems like nothing has happened. But God is saying this morning to you that he's faithful. He will never, ever fail. He will never, ever fail. He is the Lord and he changed not. Oh, Jesus. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Oh God, oh God, I feel the glory of the Lord. Is Jesus Christ the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever? If He said it, He would do it. And let me tell you, it's not because it's about to be done, it's already done. Holy Ghost, we thank you, Jesus, because you never, you never ever fail. You are the Lord, you change it not. You are the Lord, you change it not. 
failure is not in your resume failure is not in your character you do not start a thing and not finish it in fact you have finished it before you started it has been established before the foundation of the world the bible says in Isaiah 65 verse 24 before you call before you even pray I have heard so when you are praying it's not because God is just trying to hear you or he's trying to turn on his, his radio to pick your signal no he has already heard it from your spirit he knows what you need what you have need of oh God Malaka Zikadoshe Rebebebe Zikata Holy Ghost, thank you This morning, ah, yeah, 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 yeah my God, my God, my God. He will never fail. Father, you have promised. You have spoken. There are words of prophecies that have been released over your life many years ago. And it seemed like the word is hanging. But today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command those words, those prophetic prophecies to begin to come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus uh, upon this prophetic altar uh, upon this altar of fire upon this altar of his glory upon this altar of open heavens uh, every word uh, that God has released uh, over your life uh, let it begin to come to pass uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, because we know there is a season there is a time you plant the seed but it's also a time for harvest in the name of Jesus the word has been released it is time for the word to begin to materialize in your life in my life in the Joseph generation in the nations of the earth in the body of Christ prophecies of the Lord that has been spoken over the body of Christ over Nigeria over the BVI over Canada, Malek Abasha, over the nations of the earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And God said, Let there be, and there was. And God said, Let there be, and there was. And God said, Let there be, and there was. By the Spirit of God, Ruach Elohim, Mako Kalikata, let the word of God that has been spoken, that has been released over my life, over the life of the Joseph generation over the life of your sons and daughters over the nations of the earth let them begin to come to pass in the name of Jesus by the Spirit of God for the Spirit of God is the executor of the word the Spirit of God is the executor of the word Spirit of the Living God Ruach Elohim the word has been released let it be activated Yes, he is the activator of the word. Holy Ghost. You are God. You never fail. You never change. You are faithful. You are faithful. Over my family, you are faithful. Over your sons and daughters, you are faithful. Over the nations of the earth, you are faithful. Oh God, it may seem like God. It's getting, maybe seem like it's getting worse. But you, you will, your word remains the same. We trust and we hold on. Rebessa, we stand upon the word. We stand upon the word. We declare the word. And we know your word is yea and amen. We know your word will never return to you void. It will accomplish the thing for which it was spoken. Holy Ghost, thank you. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6a. Rabokata says, I am the Lord. I, the Lord, do not change. Man may fail, but God will never fail. Man will change because man is change is inevitable. But God will never change. Maleka Bashete. Don't let the devil deceive you. Don't let the devil tell you things uh, to make you think that God is not interested in your case. Uh, God is more than interested in your case. Uh, the Bible says, I believe it's Psalms chapter 8. Verse 3, what is man 
either verse 3 or verse 4, but I, I know it's in Psalms 8. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Ghost. I just want to make sure I have that correctly. Holy Ghost, thank you. Psalms 8. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba zeketekete. Oh, Holy Ghost. Rabba baba baba. Oh, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Who has said that glory above the heavens. Yes, Lord. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings. Verse 2. Has thou ordained strength because of thy enemies. I believe it's verse 4. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost, for making sure that I had it right. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained. Verse 4. What is man that thou art mindful of him? God is mindful of you. The devil will say, will tell you things, uh, but you got to trust what God has said concerning you. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Uh, who is Rhoda that God is mindful of her? Oh, the son of man, or oh, the daughter of man, that thou visited him. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God is going to visit somebody on this altar. God is going to visit someone on this altar this morning. God is going to visit that family this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you because you are mindful of us, oh God. Thank you because you are mindful of us. Thank you because you are mindful of us. Thank you because you are mindful of us. That we worship you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you because you are the Lord. You change it not. You are the Lord. You change it not. You are the Lord. You change it not. What you say is what you do. What you do is what you say. Father, you are, you are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father. Thank you. This is what the Lord wanted me to start. How did he want me to start uh, this morning? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. So for some, I want you to hold on to that word in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6a. He is the Lord. He does not change. That's the word for somebody on this altar this morning. Whatever he has said about your life, whatever he has said about my life, it will come to pass. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Thank you. You are good. Your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation chapter 4, verse 11 is the scripture the Lord placed in my heart this morning. Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shalaba. All right, so Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Can somebody just lift up your hands and say, Father, you are worthy to receive all the glory and all the honor and all the power. All the glory belongs to you. This morning we have come to worship you. We have come to break our alabaster box before you. We have come to kneel at your feet to receive what you have in store for us this morning. But most of all, we have come to pour out our hearts before you in worship. It says, For thou, O Lord, for thou, word, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure 
Thou art created all things. Thou art created Rhoda. Thou art created Gabriel. Thou hast created Bishop. Thou hast created Sax Priest. Thou hast created your sons and daughters for thy pleasure. God wants me to remind us this morning that the reason everything that we do from waking up to going to bed, from sunrise to sunset, it's all for his pleasure. It's all for his pleasure. Even in your conversation, your relationships, your actions, your thoughts, your manner of you know, conversation, everything you do, because we're everything about you, you were created for the pleasure of the King of Glory. Every manufacturer produces a product to meet a specific requirement for a specific use. If that product is not satisfying the purpose of which it was made, it will be either destroyed or you know maybe recreated or something would there the manufacturer would have to either recreate it remanufacture it or something you know or destroy it because it's not fulfilling the purpose for which it was created or manufactured god is like a manufacturer he manufactured us he created us for his glory for his pleasure we were created to please him look i always say worship singing songs is not worship that's just a form of worship true worship is your life true worship is a heart that is right before before god Excuse me. True worship is your life. How you live your life daily. Your fellowship with God. Your fellowship with men. Everything you do is like a sweet smelling savor unto God. Worship is not the music. Worship is not the, the slowness of a song. Worship is you. Worship is your life. Everything that comes out of you, your attitude, your behavior, your manner of conversation, everything you do is worship unto God. And so you will be you are you've been created by God to give him pleasure. I was created to pleasure him. And so we have a Monday daily to please god just like a manufacturer the phones that are produced the phones are meant for specific functions if the phones are not functioning right then you got to return it back to where you bought it you know and maybe it will like i said it will be destroyed or tried to try to fix it and all of that the same thing with us god has created us for a specific purpose, and that purpose is to pleasure him. And so my question to us this morning is, is our life bringing glory to him? Is my life bringing glory to God? Am I fulfilling the purpose for which I have been made? Are you fulfilling the purpose for which God made you? Everything you do at your place of work, your manner of conversation, Holy Spirit, I want you to just lift your hands and say, Father, help me. Father, help me. Forgive me in any way my manner of conversation. In any way my life has not been pleasing to you. Lord, I ask for your mercy this morning. I ask for your mercy, oh God. I was created to give you pleasure. I was created to honor you. Everything about me 
should be pleasing to you, God. Oh, Jesus, I receive your grace. I receive your grace this morning to pleasure you with my life. I receive your grace to pick up and tell him this morning and say, Father, I receive your grace to pleasure you with my life. I receive your grace to please you with my life, my Father. Oh, my Father, my Father, my Father. We receive your grace this morning, oh God. Oh, Jesus, upon the body of Christ, Father. That we will, we will desire above everything else to please you with our lives, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Begin to just lift up your hands and tell him, Father, my life will please you. As long as I live, I will worship you. As long as I live, my life will honor you. Oh, Shalaba. My life will please you, God. My life will honor you. My life will bring you will cause you to smile in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We pray for your children right now, Holy Ghost, the grace to continue to stay in your presence. The grace to live a life that is pleasing to you because we have been created to give you pleasure. We have been created to honor you with our lives, with everything that we do from sunrise to sunset. Oh God, even in our thoughts, Father, please help us, oh God. Help us, Holy Ghost, to seek that which pleases you, to pursue and chase after that which pleases you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Holy Ghost, we thank you for the grace to remain steadfast. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And so, Father, I pray for your sons and daughters this morning. Let the hand of God rest upon them mightily this morning. In the name of Jesus, every word that you have spoken concerning their lives, every prophetic word, every positive prophetic word that has been released over their lives father in the name of jesus in the name of yeshua hamashiach let those words begin to come to pass in the name of jesus over nigeria over the british virgin islands over the commonwealth of dominica over canada over us over asia over australia over Antarctica, over Europe, over Africa, every word, over America, every prophecy, every word that has been spoken in the name of Jesus, as you said to us earlier, that you are the Lord, you change it not. If you said it, you will do it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every word of God, because you said your word will not return to you void. It will accomplish the purpose of which it was sent. Father, every prophetic word, every promise that you have spoken concerning your children, let it come to pass today. In the name of Jesus, whatever is standing as a stumbling block, Whatever is standing as a word between you, between the word and the fulfillment of that word. Today, in the name of Jesus, we break it in the name of Jesus. We pull down every stumbling block that is standing between you and the fulfillment of the word that has been spoken over your life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, brood over this word. Activate the word, Shagaba. For you are the activator of the word. You are the executor of the word. 
We believe, oh God, we have spoken. What has God said concerning you? That you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. God has spoken the word concerning your life. Whatever he has said, begin to say, Father, thank you. Begin to remember those words he has said concerning you. And say, Father, thank you because today it's made manifest in my life. It's made manifest in my, in my family. It is manifesting in my home. In the name of Jesus. Over Nigeria, it is made manifest. Over the British Virgin Islands, it's made manifest. Every word that you have spoken. Because you are the Lord, you change that not. What you say is what you do. Father, we thank you for the fulfillment of your word. Over the nations, over the body of Christ. Melukaba, over your sons and daughters. Over my family, over the families in the, in the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you all the glory of God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Can you just lift up your hands and say, Father, we thank you. We honor you, oh God. We bless you, Father. For you are faithful. You are faithful. You never change. You never fail. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, O oh God. Whatever the request is in the hearts of your sons and daughters. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, beyond what they can ever imagine. Beyond what they can ever ask for. Do it for them, O oh God. Do it, O oh God, and glorify yourself. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you because your will is being done over the nations. Your will is being done over the body of Christ. Revival is breaking forth in every nation. Revival is breaking forth in the homes, in the churches, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and all the honor. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. We want to thank God for day nine of soaking in his presence thank you so much for connecting with me this morning god is faithful god is faithful thank you so much we'll meet again tomorrow same time 5 30 a.m est on this platform and we trust god to do the unimaginable thank you so much i love you have an amazing day god bless you bye